What's going on guys? Pre Raptor here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day or amazing night so far. Um, so today's video, we're going to talk about the most antis anticipated character that everyone was waiting about and everyone was hyping a lot. None other than Leroy Smith. You got you to gotta let that uh, roll out of your tongue. Smith. Exactly. All right. So um, early or late impressions on Leroy Smith. Well, I got to say the... You guys will see a video that's been playing up somewhere on either of the left or right Where I've been testing out Leroy Smith a bit and from what I can see he is a lot of fun He's a lot of fun. He's a really good beginner friendly character and um, Yeah, he's overpowered. We're gonna talk about that. This video is entirely about that So here's what people have been saying since the release Leroy Smith is so overpowered and he's incredibly easy and he's immediately a top tier 3 or top S character or top tier character whatever but here's what I think it doesn't matter what you think that's what you guys should be saying after I said that but listen <laughs> hear me out um Leroy Smith is according to me not that overpowered he's not over overpowered because from what I've played or for give it time for like when he was released yeah people didn't know how to defend against him or did not, did not know his movesets and stuff so Everyone felt like he was whooping people's asses online and which he indeed did. But the thing about now is that uh, Leroy Smith, if you know how to defend against him, if you know how to block his moves or uh, if you know where to punish, he is not that overpowered guys, not that overpowered because, uh, for example, the reason Leroy Smith was put in a top tier place was when, when he first came out was because that's what they do, right? Since Leroy Smith was really oh, hype, over hyped and people were really excited for him, uh, the developers might were like, were possibly maybe thinking like, okay, this, listen, let's make him a really easy character to use. Let's not disappoint the fans by giving him hard, uh, hard move sets and make him really user friendly. And that's what they did. So, uh, does that con does that make him overpowered? I don't think so. I don't think so. That makes him easy to play, which gives a lot of new players who come into a Tekken. To have a really good fun time with him because every because what i've noticed from playing online also is that many new people who have taken leroy smith are immediately familiar with his moveset or know how to do his basic combos which if you pick up a, if you pick up a character in tekken where some most of the cast in tekken it's not that easy to pull off certain combos or um, get into his movesets easily uh and as for leroy smith his most sets are really easy and really easy to use so that's what I think according to me it doesn't make him overpowered it doesn't make him top tier as character maybe now he is but when he's he's definitely let me say this he's definitely gonna get nerfed so everything about Leroy Smith some of his movesets are gonna get nerfed and it's gonna be the same story as it was with for example say Kazumi from season 1 Kazumi from season 1 was so good uh, people were using Kazumi a lot like Kazumi was a pocket character like how Akuma was he is a pocket character now for everyone uh, Especially when Chikurin won the TWT congratulations Chikurin on winning the TWT finals With Akuma which no one saw coming right so a pocket character indeed like how Kazumi was but when Kazumi was nerfed in season 2 And uh, season 3 you see you see you've seen a lot barely a lot of people using him uh, No, hardly people hardly use Kazumi because how nerfed she was in season 2 and also in season 3 now so it's, it's gonna be the same story if they have a new season or if they're gonna definitely have a patch so when they have a patch they are gonna definitely nerf uh, Leroy and you're gonna see less of Leroy's being online or maybe some people are gonna be sticking out with him even though he's nerfed like Kazumi because some people have stuck with Kazumi even when she was nerfed so that's gonna be the case so is Kazumi uh, over is sorry is Leroy overpowered I don't think so guys I don't think so at least in my opinion he is not overpowered because people are definitely getting used to him, people are definitely adapting to his playstyle as of now and you can see that, you can see it online as well. People really know how to defend against him and they are actually really punishing Leroy's most of his combos and predicting most of his movesets which are, which which people do. So yeah, definitely not overpowered. He's definitely a top tier, top S character now? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Possibly he's a top S character but when he's nerfed he's not going to be there. Uh, but that's just an early impression of people on how Leroy is now. But we're gonna have to wait for like another two or three months, or maybe another month after the patch comes out to see how people view Leroy 
as he was before and as he is now. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. That's all I wanted to talk about Leroy on how he is, whether he's buffed or whether he's OP or whether he's not OP. So early impressions of Leroy. Let me know what you guys think as well. And also before this video ends, guys, um, I want to let you guys know that I mostly do my live streams on Twitch. So make sure to follow me there. I do Tekken live streams. I do Witcher Overwatch live streams on Twitch. So make sure to follow me on Twitch and come say hi. I'd love to have you guys there. That being said, you guys are awesome. Stay safe. Peace. Legends never die.